This video is about A1, using and rearranging equations. It is best to rearrange equations before substituting numbers. When rearranging equations, the key principle is to do the same thing to both sides of the equation. In the equation I've shown here, Q is the subject. Q is the charge, incidentally. I is the current and T is the time over which that charge has moved. If we wish to make I the subject, then we have to examine the equation and see what happens to I. I is being multiplied by T. So to get I as the subject, we have to divide by T. But we can't just divide the right-hand side by T. We have to do the same thing to both sides. If we divide both sides by T, you can see that the T in the right-hand side is cancelled out. And we are left with I equals Q over T. Some equations have addition and subtraction as well as multiplication and division. If we look at this equation, we can see that V minus U all divided by T is A, where A is the acceleration. If we wanted to make U the subject, then we would have to examine this equation to see what happens to U. First of all, U is being subtracted from V. Then V minus U is being divided by T. To get u as the subject, we have to work in reverse order, from outside to in. So first of all, let's deal with that t. Let's multiply both sides by t. And I'll just draw some brackets around the v minus u, so that you can see that the entirety of this term here is being multiplied by t. Those t's now cancel. And we are left with v minus u on the right-hand side. Now the next thing that happens is that u is subtracted from v. Another equally correct way of saying this is that minus u is being added to v. There's a minus u on the right-hand side, there's a plus v on the right-hand side. So to eliminate the plus v, we have to subtract v from both sides. And you can see that plus v minus v cancels out. Now our equation looks like this, and we're nearly there, but this is minus u and we wanted u. That's the same thing as this, minus 1 times u. So we can eliminate the minus 1 by dividing both sides by minus 1. When we do that, the minus 1 on the right-hand side cancels. And the minus 1 on the left-hand side changes the sign. While that equation was perfectly correct, it's more neat to write it v minus u, sorry, v minus at equals u. And it's better to put the subject on the left-hand side. Now at this point, you would substitute numbers. So you would look in the question to see what V, A and T are, substitute them, and you would write what those numbers are. Maybe it's 10 metres per second minus 9.81 metres per second per second multiplied by 3 seconds, or, or something like that. You would then plug that into your calculator to get your answer of what U is. When answering questions, the first thing you should do is examine the question to see what data you are given. It can sometimes help you focus your mind if you write that down. Then you can examine that data more clearly, see what equation is needed to relate those variables, and that will help you decide which equation to use. You will then rearrange the equation to get the subject as the thing you want to find. You will then substitute the numbers and calculate the answer. Make sure you consider the units and any unit prefixes, multipliers, that you must include to make sure your answers come out correctly.